Installing a Raymarine Quantum 2 Doppler radar and a Fleur night vision camera will ensure safe navigation at sea even in bad weather. Both devices, together with an anchor light, will be fitted to a sea view device mount. Start by dismantling the upper hinge adapter and insert the plastic washers and fixing screws that will be used to attach to the mount. Use masking tape to make sure that the screws stay in place when the plate is turned over. Place the seal and mount onto the plate and screw in place with the nuts. Prepare the connection cables for the radar that will be routed through the mount. Make sure that the cables are running in the right direction. Secure the RJ45 plug with masking tape and push it through the rubber seal. The radar antenna power cable can be easily pulled through the rubber seal by attaching it to the data cable with tape and then using this to pull through the seal a small Allen key can help. Finally, push both cable ends through the mount and fit the rubber seal. Use a screwdriver to help, but be careful not to damage the seal. Tape the ends of the cables for the antenna to the mount and continue with the installation of the antenna mount and camera holder. Start by fitting the seal for the camera mount. The nut must be aligned correctly with the opening. Carefully place the camera plate onto the mount. To make it easier to align the plate, Insert an Allen key through one of the screw holes. Not only does this make it easier to line up the holes, it also prevents the seal from slipping accidentally. Next, tighten the screws and check that the seal is in the correct position. The next step is to assemble the bar for the anchor light. According to the C-View instructions, the mounting bracket must be fitted at a distance of 165 mm from the end of the bar. Mark the measurement on the bar and attach the mounting bracket accordingly. It's important to make sure that the notches in the rubber seal are aligned exactly with those of the bracket. Now push the anchor light bar into the mount and fix in place with the four screws. Two core installation cable will be fed through the bar and mount, which will provide power to the anchor light. In doing so, secure the upper end of the cable with a knot so that it does not slip through the tube. Push the other end of the cable through the bar and camera mounting plate. Then pull the cable through the opening using a ruler. A mounting ring is needed to install the camera. Begin by fitting the self-adhesive seal to the top side of the ring. A rubber seal is fitted to the underside. Now attach the mounting ring to the camera. To do this, screw the threaded bolt supplied into the threaded holes, leaving a protrusion of 5cm. 
The mounting ring must now be fixed to the camera with the washers, snap rings and nuts. To feed the camera power and data cable through the mount, use the anchor light power cable as a pulling aid. The ruler can be used as a safeguard to stop the cable being pulled back inside. Tape all the cables together again with masking tape and pull the bundle through the mount. Connecting the cables is quick and easy on the underside of the Raymarine Quantum 2 radar antenna. The radar antenna is then attached to the mount with four screws. The slotted holes allow for some play to align the antenna perfectly. Before tightening the screws for the antenna, adjust the connection cables. Last but not least, the camera must be mounted. Here too, Connecting the cables on the underside is a quick job and the camera is ready for use.